Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you, my dear viewers. Welcome to Muslim Minutes. This is Muhammad Ali, and now we are to talk about forbearance. Having self control during anger outbursts to the point where all negative energy trapped within an individual perishes, and not having vengeance towards others, even if they have done wrong, are all common characteristics of the traits of forbearance. Having these beautiful traits indicates maturity, willpower, as well as having control over one's self in terms of emotions and actions. It is said that forbearance is a common trait of the prophets and the Ahlul Bayt as it, has been, as it has been said that having this trait provides an individual with a great amount of inner beauty and makes them likeable. As said before in previous episodes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not advise us humans to take on a certain trait or virtue without it having specific positive outcomes that not only benefit the individual in this life but also in the hereafter as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also does not advise us to develop certain traits without us seeing examples of it through the Holy Quran, the Prophets and the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam. As for the Holy Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in Surah Al-Baqarah verse 255, Allah does not impose blame upon you for what is unintentional in your oaths, but He imposes blame upon you for what your hearts have earned, and Allah is forgiving and forbearing. Here through the verse of the Holy Quran, it is trying to make it clear that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not hasten with His punishment, especially with those who are unintentional with their wrongdoings. This verse is trying to explain that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving even to those who have done wrong towards Him. Because of His never-ending mercy towards His creations, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not punish us right away. Instead, we are giving chance after chance so that we can better ourselves. As for the holy prophets whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent as messengers to carry His divine message, they also reveal in many occasions the beautiful traits of forbearance. The story of Prophet Moses السلام, and his lost goat offers us a small glimpse of the trait of forbearance in which the Prophet poses and provides beautiful morals. It has been narrated that one day as Prophet Moses السلام, was outside in the desert with a herd of goats, one of the older male goats wandered off from the rest without the Prophet knowing. When it came to the Prophet's attention that one of the goats had wandered off, he climbed onto a high mountain and began searching for the goat. When Prophet Moses السلام, finally found the goat, he began to kiss and wipe the sand off the goat's face while apologizing for leaving it without supervision. Prophet Moses السلام, also began to explain how worried he was about the goat from wolves that surround the hot desert. After this, the Prophet السلام, carried the goat and went back to the rest of the herd. Although this story might be very simple and one might be surprised to even hear it associated with such an important individual like Prophet Moses السلام, however, the Prophet السلام, wanted to prove a very important point. If a normal person were to be in the same situation as the Prophet, what would the majority have done? Would they have been worried about the goat from the wolves and the blazing temperatures of the desert? Would they have wiped the sand off the goat's face like the Prophet did? Would they have contained and controlled their anger like Prophet Moses السلام, or would they have been angry? Most likely the answers to these questions would probably be no, and many in situations like this would probably lose their temper. This is what the Prophet السلام, is trying to point out. He is trying to expand on the idea of controlling one's anger in time where one might not know what to do except to search for the solution to the problem and have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As for the Ahlul Bayt السلام, whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent them as messengers to enlighten the minds of those who have doubts in their beliefs or the unbelievers and to also spread the perfections and the attributes of His true and divine message, they also reveal the trait of forbearance. In many of their blessed sayings and hadith, the Ahlul Bayt السلام, advised their followers to take on this beautiful trait and repeat its importance several times. In one of Imam Ali السلام, holy hadiths, he says, He who forbears during the times of extreme anger guarantees the forbearance of Allah the Almighty. 
And also in a beautiful hadith from Imam Ali alayhi salam, he also states, He who forbears will gain companions. This specific quote relates back to what we have previously stated about forbearance makes a person more likable within their surroundings. The Imam alayhi salam is trying to state that by practicing this trait, a person will become more likable, hence having more positive companions. In conclusion, through examples from verses from the Holy Quran, as well as examples from the life of Prophet Moses السلام, and hadiths from the Imam Ali السلام, it becomes clear that forbearance is truly a beautiful trait that one must work hard to possess. Respected viewers, we reach the end of our show now. Thank you very much indeed for watching and don't forget the dua to hasten the reappearance of the Master of our time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.